Hi, this is Nick Butler, and for my project I did personification. Personification is the attribution of human nature and characteristics to animals and or inanimate objects. Personification is often used in the literature to make descriptions of non-human entities more clear. It can help readers understand and connect emotionally and logically with the non-human characters in the literature. For my first hypothetical example, I said, the grapefruit said to the child, I taste like grapes. Grapefruits in reality are an inanimate object and do not have the ability to talk. In this example, the grapefruit is given the human ability to talk with the child. This would be a prime example of personification. For my second example, I said, the bee smiled at its victim before he stung him. Here we have a bee sporting a smile. Personification is in play because bees don't actually have the human trait of smiling. In this example, the bee is able to smile. Companies will use personification on animal characters, for this example, this would be Buzz for Honey Nut Cheerios, to appeal emotionally to their audience, which in this case would be children. For my first real world example, I used Eminem's song, Lose Yourself. In the song, he says his soul's escaping through this hole that is gaping. This is a clip from the song. One's soul is often considered one's spirit, containing one's mo innermost thoughts and morals. Your soul is an inanimate object that is inside of you. In the song, soul is said to be escaping through one's body, yet in reality that doesn't exist because your soul isn't a physical object, making this an example of personification. If you look to the picture to the right, the picture to the right provides imagery of what it will look like if one's soul is actually escaping. Looking at the movie Cars, all the characters in the movie are talking automobiles. In reality, cars are just pieces of metal that aid in transportation. Since this movie is geared towards kids, the person personification of the cars being able to talk gives the allure of something that is out of the ordinary to kids, which in turn would make them want to see the movie. On page 9 of The Glass Castle, it says, Then the flames leaped up, reaching my face. This occurs during Gene's accident while cooking hot dogs. The ability to reach for something is characterized as a human ability. Fire is a physical object, but isn't human, so reality can't actually reach for something. Walls uses personification to provide accurate imagery and to display the horror of her situation in a better light. And the image that you see on this slide provides a better example of flames actually being able to reach somebody. Looking at the example once more to the lake, in the essay, it says, the small waves were the same, chucking the robo under the chin as we fished at anchor. Let's look at the word chucking. Chucking is often characterized as moving or throwing an object with violent force. And this imagery can be seen with Peyton Manning chucking a football to his wide receiver. This motion is something humans have the ability to do with our arms. In this example, the human characteristic of chucking an object is given to the waves to provide imagery and description of what is happening on the lake. The way to personified is chucking the rowboat to give description that the rowboat is being violently tossed and turned in the lake. I hope this video gives you a more in-depth look at the use of personification in literature.